welcome to another QuickBooks training moment with Steiner Business Solutions. I am Doug. Today we are going to talk about the home page. Uh, for many of you this uh, pops up as the first thing you see every time you open your QuickBooks. Um, some of you use it and some of you don't. Uh, we're going to learn that you can turn it off if you don't use it. But the benefits of it are it's nice visual flowchart style of presentation here so that you can kind of see all the items that you need to take care of in the order that you need to take care of. For example, if you enter a bill, you need to pay the bill. Or if you do inventory, you might do purchase orders to order the inventory, then receive it, then create a bill for that inventory, and then pay that bill. Or for customers, you may create estimates for your customers, turn those into invoices, then receive payments when they pay you, and then record the deposit into um, the bank. So you may use some of these, you may use all of them, um, but there are ways to customize this and take off icons that you don't use and put on ones that you wish you could use. So you may see, you may have a lot on your screen that you'd like to get rid of because um, it would just declutter your screen. You may be seeing some of these icons for the first time here and didn't realize that you could put them on your home screen. So we're going to learn how to do that. And to do that we go up to Edit and Preferences. And then we're going to go to Desktop View. First thing I'm going to show you here on my Preferences tab is this option, Show Home Page When Opening a Company File. So this is what QuickBooks defaults to. Um, and if you want to see that home page every time you open QuickBooks, leave this on. You can uncheck it if you do not want to see that home page though. And we're going to go over to Company Preferences and this is where we can start customizing the home page itself. So let's say we don't plan on using sales receipts. Right here, Create Sales Receipts. We'll turn that off. Let's say we don't intend to use the function in QuickBooks to create statements for our customers. We can turn that off as well. And there are some other things that we can turn on and off here that will take us to a different screen. For example, estimates. That's this right here, this icon. Do we create estimates? Sales orders. Do we create sales orders? Inventory. Do we do the, if we turn off inventory, it's going to turn off the purchase orders and all of these functions up here. And then time tracking. Do you actually enter time for either your employees or your contractors so that it, it connects to your payroll or connects to your invoicing. Um, if so, we can turn those on and off. So we're going to go into estimates here and ask us to save the things we've already changed. Do we create estimates? We're going to say no, so we'll turn that off. Go back to desktop view, sales orders. It's on right now, so we're going to turn that off. Save that. Inventory, see it's on. We're going to turn that off. No, we do not use inventory. And time tracking. Say we don't use any of these functions. Save it. I think that's it. Hit OK. And we'll go up to Company and Homepage to open our homepage back up and see the difference now. We've gotten rid of all those icons. See how much cleaner it is, how much how many icons we got rid of, and there's much more space here. It looks less cluttered. If you don't use the icons, why not get rid of them so that you don't have to look at them? I went ahead and took a picture of what it looked like before. This is what it looked like before. You had to create the sales receipts, the statement stuff here, estimates, sales orders, purchase orders, receiving inventory, all those things before, and now they're all gone. So whether you use the home page or not, uh, you learned a little bit more about how to customize it or how to turn it off if you don't use it. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks. See you next time.